We did see some crazy weather across our area, especially severe weather impacted in Isle of Wight County near Smithfield. Several viewers sent us pictures showing damage of roofs blown off of buildings. We sent 10 on your sides, Aisha Tolliver, to survey the damage, and she talked to residents about the destruction left behind from the storms. We're here in the Ben's Church area. That's about two miles south of Smithfield. Now take a look at some of this damage. Some of these big locust trees were snapped, and also there were some that were completely ripped out of the ground here. As you can see here, the roots completely torn up. The property owner here tells me, though, that is just the beginning of the damage. It was life-threatening to get outside in that. Robert Taylor says as a local farmer in Ben's Church, he follows the weather closely. But nothing could have prepared him for the storm that hit his property Friday night. I was at, at the windows and, and watching these trees go down, and I'd run to the back end of the house and look and see the trees going that way. And the roar, I said, well, maybe it's time I get take a little cover. Taylor says he hid in the bathroom until it passed. When he stepped outside, he was blown away, but not by the wind. Three of his sheds were torn apart by strong winds and fallen trees, and some of his crops were also destroyed in the storm's path. The corn got damaged a bit, uh, blown down. I don't know what the outcome that's going to be. Time will tell. Uh, the cotton got beat up pretty badly. This barn, he says, is irreparable. And Taylor says the storm didn't just affect properties. Downed power lines caused officials to shut down one of their main roads. Electricity went out real quick uh, last night. Uh, Route 10 was blocked for a couple of hours uh, with uh, this, this line that comes across the back of the farm here. Uh, went down across 10. Despite the countless hours it's going to take to clean everything up, Taylor says at least no one got hurt. Nothing we can do about any of it now except clean up and, right. and move on. And Taylor says he'll have some help with that. I've got some wonderful neighbors and friends. I've had an outpouring of people up here helping me today. Now, Taylor tells me it's going to take him about a week to figure out just how much damage was done. In Isle of Wight County, Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.